Q&A. I'm never doing that again. Ever. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's just go with the video. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a very personal, not really personal, I'm doing a Q&A. What is there more to say? That rhymed. Cool. Um, I'm doing a Q&A. That's cool and stuff. And yeah, you, I, a few weeks ago, literally a few weeks ago, posted on my Snapchat, on my Instagram, um, for you guys to ask me some questions, and now I screenshotted them, and now I'm gonna answer them. Just, yeah. If you guys like this video, um, let's just get on. Let's get this bread. Never say that again. Okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna say, um, like, who it is, but I'll just say, like, what they asked. So. One girl asked, what's your favorite TV show right now? Um, well, I'm not really watching TV right now on Netflix or something like that. I'm kind of watching more of um, YouTube videos. But I think I was watching, um... I'll just tell you guys the last TV show I watched. Oh, oh, Riverdale. Watch Riverdale. Or at least I binge watched it. Somebody asked, well, more like they said, you should start a YouTube channel. Well, here's the answer. I already made one. Um, somebody asks, is Ethma real? And girl, it was. It used to be real, but now it's not. At least I don't think it is. Okay, it used to be, like, it definitely was a thing. Like, I know it was real. It was definitely real. Like, come on. You can't tell me that Ethma was not real. It was so real. Now I think they're taking a break. Don't come at me, Grandma Stans. I'm just kidding. And he asks, how was Elite Canada? So Elite Canada was good. It was a great competition. Um, it was one of the hardest competitions. It's like one of the two hardest competitions of my entire like gymnastics year and life. Um, and it went by actually really well because it's really early so like not a lot of people are ready for it. But for me it actually went pretty good and yeah, I got fourth all around so I'm fourth in Canada right now. Fourth in gymnastics. <laughs> Um, somebody asked, do you like Carmex? And um, I have Carmex in my gymnastics bag, and let me tell you, I hate it. I hate it. I hate Carmex. It's... I'm sorry, but Carmex stings my lips. It literally stings them. Like, I will put it on, and it will sting my lips. I will... Like, it makes it worse in a way. I don't know why. Okay, I'll stick with my birds and bees, okay? What's your favorite memory from gymnastics or from gym? Um... Probably when I was little and I'd be at like, competitions and I would just run around and like go up to my mom and annoy her, I guess. <laughs> oranges or apples? Explain your answer. It's like, you know when the math teachers are like, something, something, show your work. <laughs> apples, definitely. Um, no, not oranges. Like, I like them, but like, they're really acidic. So, like, I don't know if you know what I mean, but like, when I eat them, like, they're really like stingy. Like, not stingy, like, sometimes they're like too sour for me. I really like apples. I eat apples literally basically every day. I eat like one or two or three even apples a day. So like, an apple day keeps the doctor away. Um, somebody asks, Hi, welcome to Chili's. And I don't, like if you don't know that vine, you can uh, unsubscribe, please don't unsubscribe, please don't unsubscribe. Please don't unsubscribe. I mean like you can, you if you don't know that vine, you just search it up. Um, then she goes, do you love me? Do you love me? And yes, I do love you. Yes, I do love you. Somebody asks, favorite apparatus in RG? Um, I don't really have a favorite apparatus because, um, it really depends on my mood. Like, I will, it will literally, it depends on my mood. Some days I'll be like, my coach will be like, oh, take hoop. And I'll be like, I really don't want to take hoop. Other days she'll be like, okay, take hoop. And I'll be like, yes, got hoop this time, you know? My friend asks, do you like blank, my crush's name? And yes, I do very much, so he doesn't know, so. Uh, somebody asks, favorite competition you have attended? Probably Guadalajara 2016 in Spain. That competition, oh my god, that was so fun. The venue is amazing, the people there are amazing. It really feels like a like a professional competition and like oh my god the carpet's amazing like that's probably my favorite competition and uh, somebody asks no i have to do this in the um um 
in the voice. How many shrimps do you have to eat before you make your skin turn pink? And she goes, I love you, wifey, okay, bye. <laughs> So um, you have to eat approximately 3.14 point whatever the other pie square numbers is to turn for your skin pink. I can't talk right now. Um, oh, what's your favorite rapper is? I'll s already answer that. Fake gymnast. Favorite gymnast. Okay, favorite gymnast. So, favorite gymnast that's retired is Alina Kabaiba. All the way. Girl, she's the best. But favorite gymnast that's currently still like doing gymnastics is probably like Sandra Aguirre-Lulez. So butchering her name from Italy. Um, then second is Ekaterina Sidisnova from Russia, and then third is the Andreina twins. Um, they take the third spot as one person because they're basically one person, anyways. Let me ask, how's life? I miss you. Life is going pretty good, pretty great. Um, I'm lying. I'm dying. <laughs> I don't need to talk about that. Let me ask, what's your score goal for this year? Um, well, like for gymnastics score, I hope to score up like a 19 or an 18, possibly a 20, but that's not gonna happen because you know I can't do that because you know I can't do that because uh, my execution scores are always so freaking low. They're always so low, like they're they're never not low. So I really need to work on that. So if I if I get up my execution score and I don't drop and I do all my difficulties, then I could really be an Olympic level gymnast, you know? Mm. Someone says, how do you stay motivated? And the answer is I don't, okay? I. I have problem with motivation in gymnastics, um, so it's really hard for me to actually stay motivated for gymnastics because, like, when you are like one of the best in Canada, and you have to maintain that position, it's really hard for like on your mental health, along with like school and regular people stress. It's like on a teenager brain, it's like a little fifteen-year-old girl, like it's a lot of stress. So staying motivated for me is really hard. How I stay motivated. I really can't tell you an answer because I don't know myself how I stay motivated. I literally don't even know if I'm motivated. Somebody asks, favorite breakfast? Um, probably favorite breakfast is when I'm like at a really good hotel in Europe. They have the best freaking breakfast because they have the best eggs, the best like fruit, the best toast. Mm, they just have everything so freaking good. Like, mm, and they have the best hot chocolate. Ugh. Somebody asked, how tall are you? So I'm 5'7 and I'm like 171 centimeters. Yeah, 171 centimeters. Um, someone said, oh, not a question, but congrats at being high performance. And thank you very much. Thank you, Lattice. Very much appreciated. Cause, you know. But yeah, those are all the questions that I got asked then. Um, there are not a lot of questions because not a lot of people want to ask me questions. I don't know why, but every time I put those Instagram things on my story, Nobody asks me questions, and I think it's because I put them on too many times, and now nobody cares anymore. Okay, um, well, thank you to anybody who did ask a question. Um, I, if you, if you're watching this, because I don't publicize my YouTube channel, then, uh, you, I, I answered it. If you don't know how I answered it, try and find my YouTube channel. Um, that has no relevance to this video, because you can't find it unless, yeah, um, don't even know what I'm saying, but uh, yeah. If you guys like this video, if you guys learnt, learnt a little bit more about me, most of the questions were about gymnastics, but that is A-OK -okay because I like those questions. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good, peaceful, happy, stress-free life day. And uh, see you guys in the next vid. Comment down below what you guys want to see. Like this video if you did, and let's subscribe to see more of me in this channel. Okay, bye guys. Let's become pollinator. We'll pollinate this world together. Put your head on my shoulder